Sarah Dow, ARPS. Does that sound good? It sounds absolutely fantastic. You have no idea how hard I worked. <laughs> well, we'll find out, won't we? Because your panel is really, really unusual. What was the inspiration for it? I had a rough time um, back in 2011. There was a lot of a lot of train crashes, and at the end of it, um, which probably took another two or another couple of years, I was left with without parents, without husband, without the old cat, with two more cancers. I had lost my breasts and um, my then ex-husband had been through and, and I supported him through a nasty battle with severe mental depression, um, leading to some suicide attempts and hospitalisation. So by the time I got to Wiltshire in 2014, Life was considerably different. Um, so life changed a huge amount. And um, I realised through all of it that every time I was stressed and every time I needed to come back to me, it was my camera that I picked up and I went for a walk. Or if I couldn't go for a walk, I sat down at the computer and I looked at pictures and I tried to make them better. So I guess that's kind of where it started. So photography was your piece, if you like? Yes. How did you get from that to the panel? I wanted to show myself, I wanted to show people that loved me, that saw a me that I didn't recognise, what it was like to be me through those difficult years, what it was like to be inside of me looking out. Um, it's probably one of the most challenging things I've ever tried to do. How do you take a picture of a feeling? How do you take a picture of a feeling of yourself? Well, there's nobody else that can take that. So I kind of just had to figure that out. In a practical sense, how difficult was it to take pictures of yourself in different positions, in different ways? Um, really hard and, and actually really easy. You've just got to be really patient because you're going to take a lot of pictures and you're going to get a lot of stuff wrong. You're going to get, you're going to be in the wrong place. You're going to be out of focus. It's that you learn, you learn that there are ways to help it. I mean, there are mirrors all over the place. And how therapeutic was it? The project, in terms of the story, was really therapeutic. I very much when we were dealing with my ex-husband's depression, I was always the one that was in the background that was navigating various aspects of his care, and. At the same time, I was going through really nasty chemotherapy myself, um, as well as the fallout and the grief from my parents' death and so on. So therapeutically for me, it was my way of having my voice, of being heard. Um, I, I, and it wasn't just that I wanted to be heard. I needed to be seen, but I needed to be seen not for somebody who'd been through, obviously been through cancer and had a changed body, but I needed to be seen for the me that I was inside, for how I felt. And this project was my way of doing that. What I'm interested in is how you feel now about yourself having done this. This project was part of my healing it was my way of coming to terms with the fact that I hadn't felt that I was being seen or heard in the way I needed to be. This is my way. This is me being seen. This is me being heard. This is me being done. So what next? That's a really good question. It's still going to be about perception, how we see things, and how we see one another. I've got an idea. Um, there are all sorts of things in life. Um, where we make judgments on other people, other people who don't necessarily follow society's accepted norms. And I feel that there may be something for me to explore. That I think I had to do something like this in order to understand what it's like to be misunderstood, truly. So, germ of an, an idea for a fellowship panel then? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the best of luck. And Sarah Dow, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so much.